Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So in the previous video, I've demonstrated to you how we uh, created our Hello World program using C++ and then uh, using Kojo as our editor. So let's continue with the next example that is using C and C out example. And then also let's try to have the cascading insertion and extracting operators. Okay, then let's uh, minimize this. So this is our previous core command that we have. So you could type it here clear so that we could clear our terminal. Okay. So like I've mentioned before, you could create uh, your own files inside Kojo. So just make sure that you go into your um, uh, folder here. So let's create our program or our file. So starting this one we're going to use here a file which is let's say exercise one or xr one that cpp so don't forget the extension of cpp here so you could uh, use any file name that you like so for us to have incremental uh, file names so i'm just going to use xr one two three four and then so on okay so after you have type here take note that the current path will be codes in which case that uh is our folder where we would see our files here okay and then click ok then you'll be uh, seeing here a new file so you can previously close the windows here just click here close or X to to close the previous one but you could go back to it just simply type here the file okay so in this example I'm going to demonstrate to you actually let's have this two output already or out uh, uh, applications already so this we're going to have our um, use the C out uh, C out function okay here and then we're also going to apply here the okay what's that uh, topic let's go back let me double check it again so let me just copy this one so what we're going to do is that we're going to have the C in and C out together with the okay let me just paste this one and yeah, okay so this is the program that we're going to create okay. so C and C out are function that we use uh, that is part of the IO stream so C out here allows us to um, allows us to input data I uh, output data rather while C in here is for us to input our data the cascading insertion and then the extraction operators are the cascading insertion is this one okay and then the extractor extraction is this one okay there okay so that's uh we normally see this using the c in and c out function so let's create our sample program so let's say we would like to um let's say let's have this code so take note the two forward slashes are remarks okay remarks are comments that we normally put in our codes so that uh, we're guided so right now i'm going to create a program to uh, uh, ask the user okay ask the user to input two integers and then display display the sum okay so that's what we're going to do and then we're going to apply here c in c out and then also the cascading insertion and then extract the operator so first thing that we have to do here let's have our library sharp include io stream okay there sorry then using namespace std okay next is int main okay Please do practice this muscle memory guys okay so you need to um, know the following code so technically this is this will be your basic basic C++ structure okay now um, the first that we're going to have here is that we're going to have a clear uh, screen function okay the clear screen function allows us to clear the screen as we run it. By the way, 
we are executing our codes inside our terminal and from time to time you'll be seeing a number of lines here and then uh, sometimes it might confuse you with the output or some of the existing uh, command ex uh, commands that you have previously executed so if you like to let's say clear the screen to make it like this we need to issue a command here so our current operating system here in our Kojo uses Ubuntu okay so in order for us to clear screen in Ubuntu so take note this applies in Ubuntu if you're going to work with Windows there's another function for that but we we'll focus more on Ubuntu commands here okay since we're using Kojo okay so to do that you just type here system and then clear so this command this line here allows us to clear the screen so if you like to clear your screen uh, every time that you run your program please include this line okay take note this run only runs in kojo using ubuntu as our terminal or as as our box okay then after that so since we are um asked to uh, input integers so right now we're going to have here the variable declaration so variables are sort of a temporary storage of values that we're going to have. As we progress, I'm going to explain it further how it's used. So right now, let's just say that we're going to declare variables. So what are those variables? So variables could be in a form of integer, float, double, and so on. So right now, since we specify here that the inputted values will be integers, meaning whole numbers, so let's declare them as integers. Integers can be represented by the keyword int. And then after that, we need to list down here the variables. So let's type here num1 and then num2 and then sum, okay? So I have three variables here, num1, num2, and num3. All of them are of type integer, meaning that the inputs that we're going to have here will be whole numbers since we declare this as integer. Next is we're going to prompt the user to, um, let's say, uh, prompt the user to enter two numbers, okay? So prompting means that we're going to print out a text to our screen and then from there, uh, remind the user, instruct the user what to do. So to do that, if you like to print out something, we use the function cout using the two less than symbol also known as the cascading insertion command and then open and close parenthesis, this one here. So this uh, open and close parenthesis, this is where we're going to type our text, okay? So to do that, just type here, enter two numbers, okay? So enter two numbers means that we are instructing the user to enter two numbers. This is our prompt, okay? After that, and then let's have here end length. Next is, uh, let's input now the data. So C in, since we uh, instructed here to enter two numbers, so C in, followed by our so take note this is what you call the extractor operator so to uh, greater than symbol we need to type here the variables that we're going to use so since we have already declared two variables here so we're going to use num1 and num2 as our variables okay so num1 and then another uh, extraction operator and then we're going to have here num2 then semicolon okay okay then next is we're going to compute so this will be our process part so we compute for the sum of the two inputted numbers so to do that we just use the variable here sum is equals to num1 plus num2 okay there and then let's output our uh, sum by using here the cout operator okay and then the sum is okay and then type here sum okay there and then if you like to have also here an end line you could also do that and then after that we that's it that's the program itself okay okay so let's review our code so our task is to use c out and c in function take note c out allows us to display uh, text on the screen uh, c in allows us to input data into our program code so we're also going to use the operators which is cascading insertion this one here and extractor operators okay so how do we write our codes first you must have your 
uh, libraries first. Second is that type this using namespace std to standardize most of the commands that we're going to use. Then we have here our main function. Okay, this is our main function here. So take note, you also need to somehow indent it. The purpose of indention is that we know that this one here is the scope of our uh, program. Okay, so this is the main body itself. So this line here is the command that allows us to clear the screen. Take note that this applies in a uh, Ubuntu um, environment or operating system. I think it also applies in Mac and also in... Um, in uh, Linux but if not please do check out the uh, commands that allows you to clear the screen okay then after that we have here our variable declaration we're in we declared three variables uh, num1 num2 and num and sum num1 will hold the values for our first number num2 will hold the values for our second number and then sum will hold the uh, sum the uh, uh, operation uh, the sum or the result of num1 and num2 this one is we're prompting the user to enter two numbers. This line here inputs the values of num1 and num2. And then this line here allows us to compute. And then this line here displays the result. So the result here is uh, we will print out the text. The sum is now this line here allows us to retrieve the value of sum. So we need to have this, um, this line here. So since we already computed the uh, sum here, so sum, the whatever the value that we have here is stored already to the variable sum. So we uh, uh, sort of concatenate or join up the values here and then end it and uh, include an end line. Okay, so that is the program code. So take a look at it. Um, I'll try to post these codes in our um, description box. If not, try to look at the codes here right now okay so what's next let's try to compile it so to compile simply let's move this one here okay so last time i showed you how we compile it just simply type here so since i am now inside my codes folder as we have uh, created in our previous example there's no need for you to change directory so but so take note that you must be inside your codes folder if not then uh, just look for the folder where you have saved the file type this again so as you can see i have here xr1.cpp which contains the program that i have created earlier Okay, so let's now compile. To do that, you just type here G++, the name of the file, which is xr1.cpp, and then followed by minus O, and then the output file. So let's type here xr1. The output file can any be file that you like. To That could be a reference to what this file is, uh, what's the output for this program that you have created. So in our case, we just use here xr1. So just press enter here. So there are no bugs, there are no problems. If there are problems, you could debug it or trace it, okay? So since there are no problems, let's try to execute it. So we know already that the output file is XR1. So we just type here uh, that forward slash then XR1, then press enter. Now look at the screen, okay? Currently, this is the, uh, we have list created, uh, use here list. Uh, we type here the uh, compilation process, we list it again, and so on. Look what will happen if I press enter. Enter. So as you can see, most of the texts are cleared. So how is that? Since we have here in our program system clear, what it does is it automatically clears the screen for us. Okay. So now we are being prompted to enter two numbers. Since we type here enter two numbers, let's say 12 space 23. The first number 12 will be stored to num1 and then 23 will be stored to num2. Then after that, you just press enter here and then the sum is 35. Okay, so that is how we execute our program. So, so let's try it again using your app arrow keys in your keyboard. There you would see the previously command executed. Press enter again, the clear screens and then we could say 67 space 77. So that will be for the first and second number. Press enter again, and then we have the output. Okay, so we were able to execute our program. Okay, so we have used here our C in and C out function together with the cascading insertion and extractor operators. 
So again, these are the codes. Hope you um, uh, able to execute this. Okay. So if there are concerns, let me know. Uh, send me a message through our canvas and then I will address your problem. Okay. So that's all for this video. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching. Bye.